I'm gonna keep it real. It has not been the best couple of days, weeks, I don't know, like, let me just, ugh, oh my god, I, okay, let me, I can't get this off. It has not been the greatest couple of days. Well, the good thing is, is that I was off work today, so that's nice. Um, so I decided to spend it at Barnes & Noble because today I'm actually going to be getting some Christmas books because it is December 4th. And I also just wanted to go to the bookstore because I feel like doo-doo. Because um, it could have been a lot worse, but my other car, I have, an, I have two cars. This is like my car, my car, and then I have like an SUV. Me and my boyfriend, we were gonna go get furniture and uh, because on my SUV, I have a hitch and so I can pull a, a trailer, right? To, you know, hold the furniture. But then I hit a deer, so it was a big buck. It ruined my bumper. It could have been a lot worse, but I'll insert a picture somewhere on the screen. Um, but yeah, that ruined stuff and now I gotta get that fixed. So that's not gonna be very fun. So, but the good thing is my dad knows how to fix a lot of cars and stuff and he does a lot of work with that so that's a good thing but I, it's just kind of like a bummer thankfully i have this car that i can drive um so that's okay <laughs> i guess i'm just sad about it i'm a little sad about it i'm at barnes and noble it is 8 54 it's about to open so i wanted to get here right when it opened and i guess so did everybody else because there's a lot of cars here so that's just great so it's gonna be kind of a awkward to try and film and also I forgot I don't have chapstick and it's driving me crazy. I'm also here to get me inspired to read again because for one thing Iron Flame put me in a reading slump because not that I let I loved Iron Flame it was such a good book I have a reading vlog up for it if you're interested to see it it's spoiler free of course but anyways I loved it and I love the world so much that now I'm like depressed that it's gone so I'm like how in the world do I get into another book series or another book so maybe reading some short and sweet Christmas books will be good. I do already have two at home. I have One Day in December and In a Holidays. So I do have those two, but I kind of just want to get more and just kind of look around, see what kind of Christmas stuff they have at Barnes and Noble. Also, it doesn't help that I'm also addicted to Animal Crossing right now on my Switch. So I restarted my island like 50 times. I'm not even kidding because that's just something I do. I love to restart everything. I don't know why. I have a budget I'm gonna try to try to stick to, but I am gonna look around and maybe even get some Christmas gifts and stuff if I can find anything. I hope you guys are having a good week. I'm really sorry I haven't uploaded in a long time. Like I said, I, the Iron Flame reading vlog just kind of put me in a slump because I just love that series so much and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna try to film as best I can because it seems like everybody else had the same idea as I did to get to Barnes & Noble right when it opened. So, so I'll, just, I'll just do my best. I'll do my best and I'm gonna go ahead and head inside. I think it's already nine o'clock. So I'll see you inside if I can film anything, so. I don't even want to look at Iron Flamer fourth wing. It broke me. book.
like I've never read it, but I think my sister read it or something. But like, this is kind of old. And it's interesting that it's making a comeback. I would probably get it if this cover wasn't so weird. I just don't like people on covers. Which, if they have Binding 13 new covers here, which I don't think they do, I would probably buy it. But I hate that I already bought the old cover, so. So I've never read The Hunger Games. Should I do a reading vlog of The Hunger Games? I haven't even watched all the movies, so. I might end up doing that, but. I think I might try to wait when I, if I get a Kindle, because then I can just read them on my Kindle. I remember these being really popular when I was in high school. Should I actually read this or can I skip it? Because this one, this is good. I really want to read Carvel before Once Upon a Broken Heart, but I don't want to buy Carvel. <laughs> I don't want to buy the- because if I buy one, I'll have to buy the rest. And I don't have that much money right now. Maybe I can add it to my Christmas list. I kind of want to make a video where my boyfriend chooses what I read, but I think he would choose a Stephen King book because he's like, oh, you need to read a Stephen King book, but I'm scared. Anyway, I'm just kind of looking around, but I'll choose. I gotta really go through those Christmas books and figure out which ones I want to get. Um, and it cracks me up that most of the main female characters are named Holly. Also, while I was looking at the Sarah J Moss table, a girl came up and got home. I think she's doing the tandem read because I, I think it's, I already forget which ones, but she grabbed two books, but I assume she was doing the tandem read. I don't know when I'll read that series, but I will eventually. I just don't know whether to read Throne of Glass first or Assassin's Blade first. I keep hearing two different things and I'm stressed. I don't know which one. <sighs> a little bit of damage just a little bit i do feel i i do think that going in barnes and noble helped like i do feel re-inspired and the cashier lady was so nice yeah i'm excited to get back into reading after not reading for a couple weeks i haven't read anything since iron flame i really haven't so alrighty, i'm gonna head to the mall now and then i'm gonna head home and then i'll show you guys what books i have so i will see you when i'm home i did some damage okay I really thought I was only gonna buy like two books, honestly. But um, you might notice this is from Books A Million. Okay, listen. I might have cheated on Barnes and Noble. With... <laughs> there goes my calendar. Okay, one second. I did go to I did go to Books A Million and get some books. So basically, I'm going to be showing you guys books I've accumulated throughout. Um, I think I got them in November or October, maybe. I think it was November though. First, I'll show you the ones I got today at Barnes & Noble. So at Barnes & Noble today, I got four books. And let me go ahead and show you the one that we already know that I got. I got Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh. I've talked about this book in my other videos that I'm gonna eventually get to reading. And as we know, um, the text is very small and the book is very thick, but I will say, that it is so much more, it is so much easier to hold than this one. See, like, 
They're not, this one is a lot thinner than this one. Wanted a different, I really don't like this cover. And I haven't read this book yet. And it was going to be a pain to read this because it's, this book isn't floppy at all. But this one, watch this. Look at this. This is like a dream. Like, that's so easy. It's lighter. So now I don't know what to do with this. I'm probably just gonna maybe try to sell it on eBay or something, or maybe I can give it to somebody. We'll see. Anyway, so, you know, I thought this sweater was like snowflakes. That's why I wore it today for like Christmas book shopping or whatever. But now that I'm like looking at it, I think it's flowers. And the next book I got, I said I wasn't gonna get it, but I couldn't resist. I got Caraval, okay? I want to read this before Once Upon a Broken Heart series, which I already do have. Um, I don't think you necessarily have to. I just want to because I haven't read it yet. So it's like I might as well just read this first. You know what I mean? So as you know, I feel like I've talked about this book before. But if you haven't heard of it, this book is about a girl named Scarlet. Um, so basically, there's like a competition that comes around every year. Well, a carnival that comes around every year. It's a once a year performance where the audience participates in the show. And it turns out this season's carnival revolves around Tella, Scarlet's sister, and whoever finds her first is the winner. So the girl basically has to find her sister. And this is a three book series. People have said that Jax is in this and he's the main character in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. I'm not sure how important it is to read it, but I wanted to anyway. And this cover is so pretty. I just kept looking at it. I always look at this book and I never get it, but I figured this time was gonna be the time I'd get it. Okay, and now for the Christmas books I got today. The first one I got is All I Want for Christmas. So I got this one mostly because this cover is very cute and also it's super short. And this book takes place in Nashville. So uh, I thought that was kind of funny because I live really close to Nashville. I live in Tennessee. It says, when Sadie and Max are selected as contestants on the fame reality singing show Star Maker, each thinks they finally gotten their big Nashville break, but then they're paired up for duet week and stun the world with their romantic onstage chemistry. With fans going wild for Saxy, the network demands that they remain a duo on and off stage or exit the competition, faking a relationship until their final performance in the Star Maker holiday special shouldn't be too hard, except for one small problem. Sadie and Max can't stand each other, but with their dreams just within reach, they agree to the ruse. Will their fake relationship be exposed before they can win? Or might their phony connection turn real by the Christmas finale? So I also got this one because I thought it'd be cool to read from a famous singer show perspective or whatever instead of just the typical they're on a farm and they go back home for Christmas. And also this cover is so cute. It's got the little dog and I really appreciate the effort they put into the Christmas covers because a lot of them are just really nice. They're so cute and I love the little animals. And speaking of animals, that brings us to my next Christmas book pick, um, Along Came Holly, which has a dog and the cat on the back is so cute. I love orange cats. Orange cats are like my favorite. And this one is about a girl named Holly Winters. She owns a holiday shop on Main Street and the season is shaping up to be the best yet. The only pit in her, the only pit in her figgy pudding. Okay. The only pit in her figgy pudding? Declan, 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 Declan. How do you say this name? I think it's Declan. Declan Gallagher, the owner of the hardware store hardware store next door. He's the scroogiest man in all of Mistletoe, Idaho, and doesn't care about dumping coal all over someone else's most wonderful time of the year. When Holly's revenge prank escalates into an all-out war with her grinchy neighbor, she finds herself in a sticky situation when she realizes she needs his help. Declan can't believe the nerve of this oh-so-cheerful neighbor hiring him to set up her holiday lights display, but the money is too good to pass up. Despite his other loathing for excessive decorations, he throws himself into getting the job done, only to encounter sabotage at every turn. To his astonishment, Declan finds himself championing the very woman who used to get under his skin, and the one rooftop kiss has him thinking, maybe the season's traditions aren't as heinous as he believed. Declan's heart has grown three sizes since Holly came along, but how can he admit he's falling for the woman he shouldn't want? <laughs> the, li the little pieces of like Grinch and Scrooge on the back, that's just so funny. Anyway, I love this cover and that's mostly the reason I got it, but it also just sounds really cute. So now we're gonna get into the books I've accumulated throughout the last month or so. My mom bought me two of these books. Okay, so the first book I got is not a Christmas book, but this is because I don't know which book to read first. And I really need some suggestions. 
I have Assassin's Blade and I have Throne of Glass now. Which do I read first? Because a lot of people are, a lot of people say, read Assassin's Blade because you get more of an idea of what happened and blah, blah, blah. But then people say, don't read Assassin's Blade because it gives spoilers. So read Throne of Glass first. And, I, and, and then some people read it third and some people read it fourth. What do I do? <laughs> Just just keep in mind, I don't read fantasy. I The first fantasy book I read was uh, Fourth Wing. So keep that in mind. What should I read first? <laughs> okay, I didn't buy these, but I'm borrowing them from my sister. <laughs> so eventually I'm going to get to the Akatar series. She gave me the first two. Um, a Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mists and Fury. So luckily I won't have to buy these. I'm just gonna borrow them from my sister, but we all know what these two are about. We all know. And we all know what Throne of Glass is about too. Sorry, I didn't read the back of it, because, but we all know. We all know what it's about. So yeah, I have these two. I don't know when I'm gonna get to these. I think my goal for 2024 is gonna read the Throne, whole Throne of Glass series and the whole Akatar series. That would be, that's a huge undertaking, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, and the last two books I have are actually two more Christmas books. And as you know, I've been looking for the, I've been looking for this one for a bit and it wasn't Barnes and Noble today, but I didn't get it because I obviously already have it. And that is Love Light Farms by BK Borison. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this. This came out probably like, not, I don't even know if it was around Christmas time when this book came out, but I know a lot of people were like talking about the other one. I already forget what the other one was called. It was like something we something about weeds. So the back of this book says two best friends fake a date to reach their holiday happily ever after in this first romantic comedy in the Love Light series. I won't read the back of it too much, but basically two best friends fake dating for the holidays. What could go wrong? Like I said, I'm making a video where I read Christmas books for a week, but I have like two more to add to that list. Um, before, but before I get ahead of myself, I have one more Christmas book. Uh, and this one is called The Christmas Wager by Holly Cassidy. I'm not sure if I've seen people talk about this, but I saw it up on the shelf by Deck the Halls by Tessa Bailey and all that stuff. But this one is about, let's see, the first rule of Maple Falls Holiday Games. Don't fall in love with the enemy. Is <laughs> Another enemies to lovers, of course. Um, and also this one's like really short too, so I think this one will be pretty easy for me to read. But this book says on the back, when LA-based real estate agent developer Bella Ross arrives in the sleepy mountain town of Maple Falls, she has one mission, to acquire the local fa failing Christmas shop, Always Noel, securing the promotion of her dreams. Nothing can get in her way except the shop owner's stubborn grandson, Jesse Harrison. Both refuse to budge until an unlikely wager is struck. Bella and Jesse will compete in the Maple Falls Holiday Games, the annual tradition of eccentric feats and strength and skills. Winner decides the selling price. They'll give each other a run for their money, but as the competition heats up, Bella and Jesse's icy feelings towards one another begin to thaw. It'll take a Christmas miracle for them to admit there's a spark, but what if it's just another game? This sounds so fun. I read the back of it obviously like a month ago when I got this, but that sounds so fun. So let's see, how many Christmas books do I have then in total? So I have six Christmas books because there's two more. Am I gonna get to all those? That'd be awesome. But look at these, aren't those fun? <laughs> anyway those are all the books i got today and thank you guys so much for watching and be on the lookout for my next video coming up soon i'm gonna be talking about my tbr for this month and my reading wrap up for november which wasn't really that i did not have a good reading month last month but we probably already know that but um it's exciting too because my next tbr i'm doing i'm actually gonna be pulling from my tbr jar for the first time which i'm scared too but we're gonna just try it out and also um, I definitely plan on doing a Divine Rivals reading vlog soon and then reading Christmas books for a week um, next month and hopefully I get a Kindle because if I get a Kindle next month then I'll definitely be doing a Kindle unboxing and like stickers and stuff. But anyway that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!